Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin with an issue that's becoming alarming for municipalities and their police forces. The mayor and police chief for Vancouver are speaking out about the issue of mental health, but the problem is not restricted to the Lower Mainland. At any given time, 20% of the population is suffering from some form of mental illness, and it is increasing year after year. It's something local police are having to contend with more often. What's happening to them is when they, they become involved in street drugs or they just get depressed and they start self-medicating or they just go through a bad time and they come to the attention of the police, our goal is to take them to get some care. Well, we take them to the local hospital because there's doctors there and they turn around and let them go and it doesn't matter where in this country it is. John Mackay says one in three calls to the Vancouver Police Department is a mental health call. Local RCMP have also spoken to an increase in the number of cases. It's only expected to get worse as long as the issue isn't addressed. Every year in British Columbia there's about 300 new cases of schizophrenia that are going to require long-term care. Now we haven't been had long-term care for 20 years. Mental health has become a focal point for attention for many municipalities. The NDP health critic says many of the problems stemmed from the decision to close Riverview in Vancouver. There's a lot of interest and talk about Riverview and reopening Riverview. So I'm not interested in seeing that, re, that type of institution necessarily or the, the horrible things that happened in the institution um, occur, but nothing has been put in place to... Um, take care of the people that were discharged from Riverview. John Mackay says this is not a policing issue, or it shouldn't be, but it has increasingly become one. Rather, it is a matter of health and public safety for everyone involved. Our health people have to spend money, they have to open facilities, and I'm not saying that every mentally ill person needs to be in an institution. Those who can't function do, and it may be short term, it may be medium term, it may be long term, and when they're in an institution, they're safe. Because the mentally ill are not safe, they're vulnerable people. He says the mentally ill often become victims of crime themselves or the perpetrators of it. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.